Hi, I'm Brennan from FRC Team 4476 Waffles Community Robotics. Uh, I am a mentor for the Waffles FLL teams and have been for the past three years. Uh, before that, I was a mentor, uh, student for four or five years on the Waffles team as well, the FLL team. Uh, so we're going to talk about the EV3 programming environment. This is what happens when you, this is the screen that pops up when you open up the EV3 software. You have uh, building instructions for the core set and the expansion set. You can look at them if you want to. There's gyro and stuff like that. Uh, and the other thing that I wanted to point out is the robot educator which has somewhat limited videos about things that the robot does. You can click on it further and look at some of the more detailed programming things about not just programming but hardware or tools that the uh, EV3 software comes up with. So we're going to go ahead and open up a project. A project is similar to uh, LabVIEW where it's kind of just an organization or like a file folder for all of your programs. So unlike NXTG where you have multiple programs that don't really have any order, uh, you have them all under kind of a file folder which is your project name. Uh, over here we have sort of a media um, kind of window that you can add uh, video or pictures or text in a slideshow format but we're not going to really worry about that right now. Um, over here we have all of our blocks. Um, the green is kind of um, the basic blocks, standard ones. Uh, over here, flow control, so starts and uh, decisions, ifs, or switches, or forks. Sensors is yellow. Red is kind of um, data operations, so uh, variables, math, uh, comparison, stuff like that. Blue is really advanced stuff if you want to get into serious things for um, not just some of it's not really legal for FLL, but some of it is, I suppose. And then the light kind of teal color is for my box. Uh, over here we have our project settings. You can name your project. You have all of your tabs with variables, my blocks, sounds, images, etc., etc. Uh, it'll display all your your um, things that you have under each of these categories and you can delete, copy, or add things. You can also add media, both the project picture so that when you're opening it up in the main menu you have a project picture, and project description and other assorted media I suppose you want to associate with your your project. So back to the main screen, uh, up on the top right we have the cursor, which is uh, the same, you move around the block, and pan, you move around uh, the screen. And you can also add comments. They're a bit of a pain because they start off so small, but you can add different things um, to your comments to explain what your program's doing and resize and move but I'm going to get rid of that. Um, also you have your save, your undo and redo, your zoom out which is a new feature so you can zoom out kind of look at a bigger picture of it or zoom in and you can reset the zoom to the original uh, state. The other thing that we have down here this is your download button so it downloads and that's it. Just puts your program uh, and project onto the EV3. And this is the download and run, so it'll download your project and program and run the program that you have open when you're downloading. And this is just a run, so it'll run whatever's on the EV3. Uh, this is your brick information, so it'll show your brick name, uh, your battery level, how much um, space you have left. Uh, this will show you your uh, motors, so motors are A, B, C, D, and uh, sensors are 1, 2, 3, 4. And available bricks, so this will show you all the bricks that are connected to the computer. 
via USB, Bluetooth, or Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is new for the EV3. Aside from that, that's pretty much the general layout of the EV3 programming environment. Be sure to check out all the other videos which will help you and your team out.